Hello everybody, I am Marcel from Modern Music uh, and we have a new firmware upgrade for the DR2 ready, OS 7. Uh, this OS upgrade contains one uh, big novelty, that's uh, parameter locking. Uh, but there's also a bit uh, of memory reorganization behind the scenes uh, that makes it necessary to also, also install a new bootloader on the DR2. Let's have a look what that means. So let's check how these parameter locks work um, on the noise decay parameter here of our um, snare drum. Short decay, a long decay. Basic snare drum has a short decay that will program a long decay over here at step 11. Therefore we keep button 11 down and turn the knob to program the parameter lock. To remove the parameter lock again, keep the step button down and hit no. So with the introduction of parameter locking, uh, it becomes possible now to program little melodies on the Modo DR2 by uh, using parameter locks on the pitch parameter over here. Uh, and therefore on bass drum models, the pitch has been reprogrammed to be tonal now. So when you turn the pitch knob uh, on a bass drum model, uh, you'll see actual note names appearing on screen instead of just uh, in instead of just number values. Uh, so our bass drum has a G pitch. Let's program a D over here at step nine, and let's program another G one octave up on step 15. And let's hear it. It sounds like this without a pitch envelope. Okay, and then there is also the bootloader uh, that has to be upgraded. Um, the Mono DR2 has two memory chips inside and on previous OS versions one of these chips was used for patterns, drum sets, songs, uh, your user data uh, and the other one was only used during the firmware upgrade process as a temporary storage. Now if we wanted to include parameter locks and to include the, the ability to store these parameter locks uh, inside the DR2 um, we needed more memory, so that's why we rebuilt, uh, let's say, the firmware upgrade process so that this memory that was previously only a temporary storage during firmware upgrades could now also be used to store user data. So that's why there's also a bootloader installation that has to be done now, uh, but as we'll see it's quite easy to install. So we are going to install OS 7, including the new bootloader, on this machine over here. Um, therefore we use SysX librarian on OS X. Um, there are also alternatives for Windows and Linux computers and smartphones uh, that can be found on our website. First, we will send the SysX, the firmware SysX message to our DR2. But therefore the DR2 needs to be booted up while keeping the shift and model buttons down. Like this. So now the screen says waiting for SysX update. And let's launch the transmission. There we go. Takes a little bit of time. And then after the transmission, the new firmware installs itself. And after the installation, the new firmware boots up.
But then the first time OS 7 launches, a complete memory reorganization is happening. Uh, so all the drum sets, songs and patterns are being reorganized into the new memory structure. And here we are, OS 7 is running, the memory has been reorganized, but there's one thing uh, left to do. Every time you boot up your uh, DR2 now, it will say upgrade your bootloader. And that's very important, do not forget this. Now it's time to transmit the second um, SysX file towards the DR2, the drum bootloader. So launch the transmission. This time we do not need to start up uh, with the shift model uh, buttons. This can be done while the DR2 is in normal operation mode. Just launch the transmission. This goes a lot quicker than the firmware installation. Voilà. A verification is done, then the new bootloader is installed. And there you go, it's finished. So that's it about the new firmware upgrade. Uh, the installation files and the updated user manual can all be found in the download section of our website, modermusic.com. Thanks for watching.